Welcome back. In this lesson, we will be adding a new class that helps us uh, add our very first set of dummy objects or lists, essentially. So let's get started. I'm going to go up here, File, New File. And this one, I'm going to call it Prepare, Prepare First Lists. These are very first ones that we make by default so that, you know, we can see something when we load the application for the very first time. So we have these files, uh, prepare first list. I'm gonna say I have one method in it. It's a class method. And my class method is void. It doesn't really do anything. It doesn't really return anything. And it's called prepare. All right, so that's all I need for now. I'm going to copy that, put it in my .m. All right. So I know a few things, so I'm going to just do those so I don't have to go back and forth between the .h and .m. I know that I need to uh, get my user class, I need to get my item class, grocery list class, and app data class. So let's go and import all of those guys. I'm going to say import app data and import user class import grocery list class and import item class so if you want you can just pause the video just you know import all of these and once you're ready you can move on to the next section so let's go to our prepare and here what i want to do is this i want to basically make i'm going to write them really quickly two lists each with two items and let's assume the items are called milk bread uh, pen and pencil let's say we have two lists one for uh, some shopping for home some for some shopping in the for the office so that's about that so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm going to say item class Let's call this one item one. And my item one is, as you can guess it, item class alloc and init with excellent. So I've got a name for it. The name is milk. And I've got a status for it that the status is false, is not purchased yet. The thing that I need to work on is the time. So how do we do the time part? So let's go ahead and, you know, fix that. First, I need an NS date formatter. And I'm going to call this one formatter. And that's going to be a NS date formatter new. Then I'm going to set my formatter to do a certain thing. So uh, formatter. Uh, my formatter is going to say set date format and the format that I want, a specific format that I want is going to be day, month, year, and then hours, and then minutes. So that's the specific format that I want. And then NS string, uh, let's call this one uh, time now becomes my formatter and a string with format string uh what am i typing formatter a string with date string from date actually and the date that i want to put is ns date ns date date so let's see what happens we get the current date the current date, we format it using this particular format and we plug it into our NS string called time now. So we get this format and plug it into NS string. And if you remember, our time was based on a NS string. So time now, that's that. I've got one item taken care of. Let's add another item. This is my item two. And like we said, it's actually bread. Time is now, and let's say this one is already purchased. So excellent, I've got my two items. The next thing I wanna do is this. 
I want to say, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and say, now let's make an array of these items. So NS mutable array, and I'm going to call it items uh, of list one of list one equals NS mutable array alloc in it with objects and the objects are of course item one and item two and that's quite easy and straightforward to understand so so far uh, I missed a bracket so far that's what happened so so far we got two items and one array and that's very good then grocery list class and this grocery list class is let's call it list a and my list a is going to be grocery list class alloc in it with let's give it a name this one is going to be a sample list and give it some items the items are items of list one and the user is and this is where it becomes a little tricky and we have to use our uh, singleton so the user we want to use is actually in our app data that's the guy that's called current user so we want to basically get access to a singular instance of current user at all times so when I go to my prepare first list I'm going to go up here right at the very beginning I'm going to say app data let's call it shared instance and that shared instance is essentially our app data shared manager so it's going to get us one singular instance of our app data called shared instance and I'm going to get my shared instance say current user let me stack this and quickly talk about them oh I missed few brackets already so that's not let's see what we did here let me just you know re uh, redo everything just a little bit cleaner and better I really like to to you know to format my text properly so that and that and that and that and that so let's see what we have first we have our singleton called shared instance then we formatted our time to show us time in a, in a string format we added an item called milk at this time and not purchased yet then we add another item, bread, at this time, and it is purchased. Then we put our items into one uh, array, and we made a list that is called sample list. It's got those items, and it is for this current user. And we finally going to say shared instance dot current list. Of course, add object, and we're gonna add list a to it and that's about that we got one list in our array I'm going to really quickly duplicate this and make another one so bear with me real, real quick I'm going to copy this section you could copy it paste it or you could just you know uh, take the project from from this lesson that includes all of these so what's happening now is and uh, this is I'm going to put the distinction here so this is item three, it's actually called pens. This is item four, it's called pencils. And an mutable array of I list of two, which is item three, and item four are in it. And list B is called office stuff. And with items of list two, Again, for the same user, and of course, now we add list B in here. Let's reformat this real quick so we know what we are doing. So it's very straightforward. We got the time, we got our uh, single tone, and then we got two items, one array, one list, add that list to our current lists. And then another two items, uh, an array of them, another list, and finally add that one. So by the end of this, we should have our current LST, including two whole lists of everything that we want. So 
Let's keep it up to here. Remember, you cannot test this just yet simply because your shared instance current user is nil and that's going to basically crash your application. Uh, just bear with me and soon enough we will be testing all of these. I'm going to keep this like that for a few seconds if you want to if you want to type it or you can just simply get the code from uh, the app that I have supplied with this lesson. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.